And then it will not be long before monsoon 2024 officially starts here in Arizona. And of course, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to see some flooding in parts of the valley. That water, though, is not the best way for us to cool off. And we definitely should not drink. Mm -mm. Just say no. 12 no. News journalist Justin Pizarro joining us live in Mesa with why. Now, Mesa is one of the cities in the valley that tests their storm water to see what's really in it. And Justin, you've been sharing it's a list that maybe you want to put the breakfast aside for a second. I know. Yeah, it's it is pretty gross, especially if you're sitting there eating your Cheerios right now. This is uh, it is a little bit gross on what's actually in this water. And a lot of people think, you know, it's Mother Nature. All, all this water just dropped from the sky. It's got to be clean, right? That is actually not the case, especially if you live in the city. So this is one of Mesa's stormwater collection sites. This is at Falcon Field Airport. They actually have five of these sites around the city in different parts of uh, different parts of the neighborhood. So like neighborhoods, commercial areas, industrial spots. That way they can get a good read on what is actually in the stormwater. So when we get significant rain, this system automatically kicks on and starts collecting samples of stormwater. So as that water washes through parts of the city and it gets to that sample site, the system pulls samples at intervals. So the water is then tested and the city is looking for things like E. coli, metals, oils, greases, pesticides. The list is very long. The storm water is not treated. So the city says, think of all the stuff that's on the streets and the sidewalks and people's yards. All of that gets washed up when we get heavy rain. We do see, unfortunately, a lot of the, the E. coli. That's one of the big ones. And then copper, stuff from vehicles, metals. Um, these are things that you don't want touching your mouth. So when you go in these waters, you know, it touches your hands and we don't want people ingesting that stuff. Pretty bad if you're ingesting E. coli. So the city says that you can help though reduce some of these things that are in the water like pick up uh, your dog waste or your pet waste in the yard. Another thing, if your car is leaking some kind of a fluid, make sure that you fix that, pr fix that pretty quick and then also contain it and never dump any of those chemicals in the storm drain because again, that storm water is not treated. We're live in Mesa, Justin Pizarra, 12 News Today in AZ. I mean, it's a great reminder. It's disgusting, but a great reminder. <laughs> Gosh, Justin, what would we do without you? Yeah. <laughs>